For a number of years now, any time a court decision comes out uh, against religion in public schools or uh, some ruling against teaching evolution and creation as, uh, as, as competitive uh, theories of origins, a lot of Christians get upset about this and they want to fight uh, doubly on in order to try to make the case that we need to bring our ideological views into the academic establishment and because they are under the, the false impression that, that uh, facts are neutral, that education is neutral, and it's all about uh, freedom of expression and the pursuit of, of knowledge. And this just is not the case. Uh, what has happened over the years is that uh, liberals have used the, the, the expression, uh, freedom of expression, uh, academic freedom, as a way to open the door to the academic establishment years ago in order to get through the door uh, to uh, compete in terms of neutral ground. And that once they are, that they are, are in the academic establishment, students then would be able to get the other side of the story. And based upon that, because supposedly facts are neutral, uh, the students could make an informed op uh, opinion and then make a decision as to whether or not something is right or wrong, uh, historically, uh, philosophically, or, or morally, or in this case of the creation-evolution debate, scientifically. And this, this, was, uh, this was something that a lot of Christians fell for. Uh, but in reality, the reason that they wanted the, the door open to academic freedom and academic expression is so that they could go inside and after a period of time shut the door and cut off all debate once they are in power in the academic establishment. And now we're beginning to see that this, is a, uh, this has now become blatant. And the, there's a program proposed at the University of Minnesota which would result in required examinations of teacher candidates on white privilege, as well as remedial education for those who hold the wrong views. Now, this is according to the Foundation for Individual Rights in, uh, in Education. Uh, the just goes by fire, the Foundation for Individual Rights in Education. And so what was only under the surface in, in, in so many books and newsletters and court cases now has become blatant. Uh, the academic establishment is, is finally showing its true colors. It does not believe in academic freedom and freedom of expression. It simply believes in a particular worldview, and that worldview has to be fought for uh, uh, in, in, in a way that excludes all other competing worldviews. Uh, we've, already, we've already seen this. In the, in, in the area of, of say, uh, evolution and global warming. There's a big battle going on right now about uh, emails that went back and forth about hiding data. What was the purpose of that? They didn't want any competing views, even though there are 31,000 or more scientists uh, who dispute the evidence of man-made global warming. Uh, they don't want any competition to their view. They, are, they, they don't really believe in academic freedom. In, in most cases, the, this is all about money, about money and power. Uh, if, if there is no global warming, uh, then there really isn't any scientific pursuit to, to deal with the issue. So you need a crisis. You know, why allow a crisis to go to waste? Global warming has been used as a crisis in order to raise billions and billions of dollars and has been used by uh, competing countries with the United States in order to keep America, uh, the United States down uh, financially. And so this idea that the pursuit of knowledge and academic freedom is a myth, the same thing with, with creation evolution. How many times have, have uh, intelligent design, uh, this was the Dover case in Pennsylvania, gone to court to try to get uh, 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 not even creation, but the idea of uh, evaluating Darwinism scientifically, to evaluate Darwinism, Darwinism scientifically. And they've nearly lost on every case here in Cobb County, Georgia, uh, all, all the intelligent design people wanted to do was to put a sticker. The Cobb County School Board just wanted to put a sticker on the textbooks, the biology textbooks, saying, look, uh, evolution is a theory, a theory that can, uh, should go under academic, biological, and scientific scrutiny. They don't want this. They really don't believe in academic freedom. And you hate to have to say this, but it's all based upon power and money. 
Uh, and this is where we are on this, this issue with, with, with uh, the Foundation for Individual Rights in Education and the University of Minnesota. The university's general counsel should be asked to comment as soon as possible if the race, culture, class, and gender task group achieves its stated goals, the result will be political and ideological screening of applicants, remedial re-education for those with the wrong views and values, and withholding of degrees from those upon whom the university's political re-education efforts proved ineffective. So simply saying, this is going to be the worldview taught here, and if you don't go along with this worldview, you're not going to get your degree. Now, we, again, we've already seen this in the area of evolution. Anybody who opposes or criticizes the evolutionary theory in the, PH, in the PhD process will not get his PhD. They will not be allowed to teach. And anybody with, already within the, with the PhD process who is teaching, if he mentions anything critical of Darwinism, he will lose his job. That is a fact. Now this is spreading even more broadly. Now, they are, they are picking other issues here. Now, what's happened is there's this collusion between the academic establishment, teachers' unions, uh, school boards, uh, textbook manufacturers. If you don't get a degree from an established educational institution, then you're not going to be able to teach. And again, I've been telling Christians this for a very, very long time. Why are we bothering with all of this? Start our own schools. Teach, to turn out a better student, a better product. Uh, you will see the educational establishment, of course, trying to pressure, uh, uh, pressure the, the, the Christian establishment, the home, the home school establishment as well, in order to shut them down like they are doing in Germany right now because they don't like the competition. Now, by any non-totalitarian standards, the plans being made so far by the school are severely unjust and impermissibly intrude into matters of individual conscience. Uh, the people at FIRE, I, I'm, I'm sorry to say, still don't get it. They, they still believe in uh, kind of the Queensberry rules of fighting here. Uh, there isn't this academic neutrality. There isn't factual neutrality. Uh, they don't believe in it. They only believe in their particular worldview, and all other worldviews are competing worldviews, and they cannot be allowed to stay. Uh, a representative for, for FIRE goes on to say that the university intends to redesign its admission process so that it screens out people with the wrong beliefs and values, those who either do not have sufficient cultural competence or those uh, who the college judges will not be able to be converted to the correct beliefs and values even after remedial uh, re-education. So you could go to, to the University of Minnesota, you take part in all this, and if you still don't go along with them, you will take remedial classes. Uh, you will, this, if this reminds you of anything, it reminds you of Nazism and Communism. Uh, you, you will go along with the party line, and if not, you will go to the gulag. Here, the gulag in the United States is you just won't be able to get a job through the educational establishment. These intentions violate the freedom of conscience of the university's students. As a public university bound by the First Amendment to the United States Constitution, the university is both legally and morally obligated to uphold the found fundamental right, uh, fire rights. But here's the problem. Uh, you couldn't go into a, a, a school and teach racist ideology. You can't go in and teach anything against Darwinism. You probably can't teach against global warming. And I, and I can assure you that what's going to happen here is the educational establishment is going to say, these other characteristics uh, dealing with homosexuality, that's part of all of this. Uh, the idea that all whites are racists. Uh, they, they, these people need re-education in these areas. So what are Christians to do? Look, we need to begin to build, rebuild our educational establishment. We need to take control over that educational establishment. We need to teach our own children. We also need to take, teach our children not to be um, uh, bound by the academic establishment. We need to teach our, our kids how to build businesses to, to make our way in the world without the need of, of, of the educational establishment in America today. Thank you.